Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to buy and set up a 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. What's great about this server is it'll be up all the time, even when your computer isn't running, when your computer is running, when you are playing Minecraft, when you're not playing Minecraft, this server will be up and running. It also doesn't use your own computer's resources, meaning that if you don't have a great computer, you can still host a server using game servers here through this method. And it's not too expensive, it's pretty affordable, so awesome stuff. Even if you have a bad computer, you can still run your own Minecraft server and play with your friends. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. But first, I do want to say that Game Servers is sponsoring this video. I thank them very, very much for doing that, but I use them for all my servers anyway. I've been using them for over a year for every single, not only Minecraft, but game server that I create. So uh, yeah, working with them is a no-brainer, but I do want to mention it here that this is sponsored. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. First off, we need to decide what server we want to go with. Now, the $1 server down here, right, the $1 per month one, it's going to be great for just one to two friends who want to play Minecraft together, right? So if you've got, say, you and two other people, this is going to be great for you guys to play on a server. It's just going to cost you $1, $12 a year, and you can get a Minecraft server up and running. So great stuff there. But if you want to run some mods, if you want to run Bucket or Spigot plugins, you're going to need a bit more RAM. And for that, I would recommend this right here, the $11.99 per month, or the two gigabyte or 2000 megabyte server there, right? So that right there is the one I would recommend for that. Now we are gonna be able to take 20% off of this because we have the 20% off discount code up here. So that's great stuff there. And that'll always be there rolling every year and changing. So awesome stuff there, but that's the one I would recommend for spigot and bucket plugins, right? Say you're wanting to play spigot and bucket with five to 10 people, that's gonna be great. The two gigabyte server here. If it's just you and two other friends, a $1 server will set you up nicely. So let's go ahead and select the uh, $11.99 one there for me and click order now. Once we're in here, I'm actually gonna come down here and enter my information first. So let me do that real quick, boom. And then I need to enter my email address, quick and easy. Now obviously there are a black box on your screen so I don't reveal where I live to everyone. But um, other than that, we are going to be good to go. So there we go. Email address is entered. Now we want to come back up here and where it says coupon code, we're going to go ahead and enter in that 2018 sale coupon code there. Boom. You can tell I've used this coupon code before. Click apply coupon and now it drops the price of our server. Now we need to come up here to order configuration. Confirm that we do want, in fact, a Minecraft server. We want it to be public. I'll show you guys how to make it private, password protected, and things like that later. But for now, it's going to be public. We want to again select what kind of server we want. In my case, that's going to be a two gigabyte server. If you want the one dollar one, you can leave it there. But I'm going to go with the two gigabyte one right here. Now the location, that's really going to depend on where you live, right? If you and just your friends are playing on this that say live in the same town as you, you're gonna wanna pick the one closest to where you live, which for me would be St. Louis, Missouri. However, if you're like me and you're gonna have some people from California playing on the server, some people from Canada, some people from where I live in Tennessee here, you kinda wanna pick this place that's central to all of us, right in the center of the United States, and that is going to be right around Dallas, Texas there. So that's the one I'm going to go with. As for a voice server, we don't need a voice server, so go ahead and scroll down here and click on no voice server there and now we can see the final price after the discount code is going to in fact be nine dollars and 59 cents which gets a big stamp of approval for me and we can cancel any time as long as we pay month to month here if you want to get a bit of a discount you could pay yearly and this would cost you under a hundred bucks to get an awesome minecraft server running bucket and all sorts of stuff like that or any mod packs you want to run by the way could be ran on this two gigabyte server Awesome stuff there as well. Nevertheless, I'm going to do month to month. That way we can cancel at any time. Our information is already entered there. We are going to be paying via credit card. If you want to do PayPal or whatever, you can do that. But I'm just going to be paying with credit card. And then I want to certify that I am over the age of 16. If you're not, just have your parent come in here and fill this out for you. Won't be a problem there. And then you want to agree to their terms and service, which I have actually read. Um, whenever I sign up for something like a service like this, I always want to come in here and read because as you can see, they've got their anti-spam policies and things of that nature that actually do apply to not only their spamming of you emails and how they're going to handle emails to you, but also how you can like handle advertising your server and what they allow and things like that. So that's all covered in here. And that's why I wanted to uh, mention it. And that's I actually read it even though it did take me about two hours to do that but I'm gonna go ahead and click continue here and now it says go ahead and please review your order and set up your account so as you can see we are in fact playing nine dollars and 59 cents I have all my information blocked out right there as well as my email address but that is where your login info will be sent so you want to make sure your email address is correct 
as well. You've got your payment information down here. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And then I'm just going to hit continue, right? And I'm not going to show you guys, even show this page when I have my credit card information entered in there. It just doesn't seem safe, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and after that, click continue and show you exactly what happens once you do that. And there we go. Just like that, it is now set up and boom, your server is ready to go after you've entered your credit card information there. So, as you can see on this next page, it immediately gives us our username and our password, right? Which I'm not going to block because I'm going to change my password later, so it's not going to matter. And um, yeah, we're basically good to go here, guys. So let's go ahead and take our username, right? Now we can log in up here at the top or we can click members area because we've already got like this right here in front of us. I'm going to just log in right up here at the top. And I am also going to real quick save this stuff on a notepad document. All right, now that I've got that, we can just click go right up here and it will log us right on in to our server. Now you can follow them on Twitter if you want to, but right now I'm not too interested in doing that. What I'm doing is uh, coming in here and getting our server running. So immediately our server is active. As you can see right over here, it is in fact active. We can go to info, config, all of that stuff, mods. So what I want to do here is show you guys how to upgrade this server to 1.13. Unfortunately, the backend service that game servers uses and many of the big Minecraft server hosting companies use does not natively support 1.13 yet. How you can fix that is come in here to mods, click on that plus button, and then as we can see right down here, Minecraft version 1.13 is ready to be installed. So you can go ahead and click on install next to Minecraft version 1.13. This one's all the yada 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 yada. I understand that. Click OK. And boom, your mod is now installing. Depending on the requirements of the mod, your server may be restarted, which it will be. And there we go. It's locked. Why is it locked? Because it is restarting the server and setting it up. If we give it a second here and then refresh the page, that will be good to go. And we can jump into our config. So if we go ahead and refresh the page here. As you can see, it did in fact restart and we can now jump into config. If we click that, it is going to take us to a page that looks like this. Now we can go in here and configure all sorts of stuff with our Minecraft server, guys. Whether we want the nether to be on, whether we want to allow flight in the server, what difficulty we want the world to be on. I'm going to change that up to normal. You know, whether we want command blocks to be enabled, all of this stuff. You guys can just look down through here yourself and decide on what you want to do. And uh, yeah, so go down through here and do everything you want to do. And then go ahead and click submit and then it will restart the server, which is what we want it to do. Once it's done or restarting the server, wait for it. There we go. Configuration file saved. We can click OK. And then again, we may have to wait a second before the server's up and running, but we're good to go. We can click on admins here. And this actually isn't people in your Minecraft server. This is people who will be able to log on to game servers and manage your server. If you want to do that, you can just click add admin and enter in their, their information there. But I'm not going to do that for this server. I don't need to do that. So there we go. Now we can click on mods here. And again, this is the mod page we were just on. We can see that we did install and set up Minecraft 1.13. But in here, you can also set up craft bucket, spigot, all the stuff like that that we want to do. So let's go ahead and jump back over here to info where we can see all sorts of information, right? So from here, we can see the FTP login. We're going to get to that later. I'm going to have a separate tutorial on that and actually an entire playlist about game servers that you can check out in the description down below. However, I'm not going to be adding stuff via FTP in this server because for a vanilla server, you don't need to do that. We can also see the console log right here, as well as how we can stop our server, restart our server, or reinstall our server. Now, if you reinstall your server, that means it's going to reset your world and things like that. So you don't want to do that unless uh, things have gotten pretty hairy. We can also come over here and switch the location. Say we find out that Dallas, Texas is no longer good for us. We can move our server to another location, improve the connection for, say, me here in Tennessee, if, say, the person in California stops playing on the server. So that's awesome stuff there. But we can go through and look at all this stuff and update stuff as we want to, change stuff as we want to. That's up to you guys and what you want to do with that. So let's go ahead and log in to my NC admin. Now doing this is actually pretty easy. It's twofold. So right here, web admin is where we can log into my MC admin. So if we click that, it'll take us over to here. Now, what are our login information? What we enter in here? Well, we can go to our email and you'll have this email from game service. As you can see, it says subscription activated, which is great. It says your name and all that stuff and it goes through everything. And then right here is our login info. It also gives us that link that we just went to. We compare it, boom, and then come up here and compare it. There we go. It is the same, which is great. So let's go ahead and enter our information here. Type in admin, 
and then enter in our information. You can say log me in automatically next time if you want to, and then click log in. It's now going to go through, log in, and log you into my MC admin here. So when we're in here, we have tons of awesome stuff. We can see how much RAM that our server is using. We can see our CPU usage. We can see all of that awesome stuff right here by looking at this one page. If we jump over to console, we can see all of the different information coming from the console here that uh, we have on our server. We can see the users on our server. We can see all the admins. We can see just the normal you know, guys that are not modded or anything. We can change their permissions. We can do all of that stuff, add in different permissions there. We can do scheduling, say when you want the world to save, when you want, you know, everything to be cleared off the server, like all the items that have been dropped. You can set that up, all sorts of stuff like that. Backups, when we want to back up our server, I would recommend backing up very, very often, right? Once a day or something like that. File manager, we can come in here and see all of the stuff we have on our server. As you can see, even though we are just running a normal 1.13 server, they've already prepped us and said, if you want to ever install plugins, the folder is there, which is good stuff if you ask me. Um, we can come down here to configuration and as well see some of that same stuff we saw back on game servers, which is, you know, game mode difficulty and all of that stuff. And we can even say that I've changed the game mode difficulty to normal on game servers and it was reflected over here, which is great. We can go into server settings and we can change our seed. We can do all sorts of stuff from in here, guys. And as well as like what it shows in the in-game server list. Instead of a Minecraft server, we can do Nix or Breakdown Tutorial Server right like that boom so that's how easy this stuff is guys that's how you can go through and i'm not going to go through all of these different settings there's really no reason for me to right so yeah you can go through and set up everything you want to set up and, and change all this stuff you can't really mess something up when you first start your server let's say you've got 100 players on here that's when i would start being careful in here but at first you don't have to worry about it and uh at the end of the day you can see about and learn about this if you would like to but nevertheless how do you join your server so you've gotten this far how do you actually join this flipping thing well if we go all the way back to here which is our game servers login admin page that we were just on our server ip is right here you can just copy it right like that and then launch up into minecraft 1.13 pretty easy to do that we come over here and jump on into 1.13 minecraft we will be able to play our game servers server once minecraft is launched it's very easy to join it. What's great is this IP won't change unless you change the location of your server. If you come in here, right, and, and change your server from, let's say, Dallas, Texas to somewhere else, it might change your IP, but it's not going to unless you do that. So let's go ahead and just, I'm going to add a server here. I'm going to change the name to tutorial server. Server address is that right there, what we copied over from game servers. Click done come down there it is and as you can see it's online with 20 players you can change that in mc admin by the way if you want to up your player count you can do that and just like that we are now logged in to our minecraft server boom awesome stuff guys silky silky smooth as well so there you guys have it that's how you can set up a 1.13 minecraft server how do you op yourself how do you mod yourself well let me show you that really really quick we come back over here to game servers yet again we want to go back in to our web admin up here right boom back over here into my mc admin since we told it to automatically log us in next time it did that which is great now we want to come down here to console and then you should be able to type in the console down here, right? Right here, we just want to type slash op and then my username, Nick's Games. Now you don't want to op me on your server, so you want to type op space whatever your Minecraft username is. Hit enter, and then now you can see it gave made Nick's Games a server operator. So now if I come in here and do game mode creative, there we go. Game mode now set to creative, and just to prove this is in 1.13, let's just look up right there and uh if you ask me a noctua shell and a turtle shell are very much so 1.13 items nevertheless guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out if it did please give it a thumbs up and again there's look at that we just loaded all that absolutely no lag anywhere around us which is great so if you guys want more videos on game servers be sure to subscribe to the channel i've got tons of videos coming out including how to upgrade your server to a bucket server how to set up a spigot server how to add plugins to the server all of that stuff is coming and it is on the way, so be sure to look out for that. But I wanted to start out by just setting up a vanilla Minecraft 1.13 server for you guys. Anyway, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.